Hello everyone. Welcome to Voip Knowledge. Today we have GRP2602W and we are going to upgrade its firmware using HFS, HTTP file server and PuTTY software. And you can see the phone firmware which is 1.0.3.40 and I have downloaded the latest firmware which is 1.0.3.44 from Grandstein website and I have downloaded the HTTP file server. Now I'm going to upload the extracted firmware file which I have downloaded from the website and I'm pasting the file from the directory and here it is the firmware file which is .bin file. Um, now I will uh, go to the phone. So you can see the phone uh, firmware server path is default. Now I'm going to change it via the putty. I have uh, opened the putty software. Now I am typing the IP address of the IP phone 192.168.1.114. And now clicking on enter. Now logged in as admin and type the password of admin. Now type upgrade, click enter. And uh, the default uh, firmware server path is fm.grandstream.com slash gs. And I'm going to change it. The URL is set URL and then space IP address of your laptop HFS software application and then enter again type a commit to uh, save the changes okay now type upgrade and press Y and then enter now the upgrade process will start and the HFS software will detect there is a request from IP phone and now we have to click yes on IP phone so that it will take the file from this software so now the phone is taking the file from HFS software So as the file is upgrading, once it is completed to 100%, the phone will automatically restart it and reboot itself. So let's wait for a uh, complete upgrade. Now you can see fully downloaded. Okay, the phone has get the firmware file properly and it's fully downloaded into the phone. Now phone is rebooting. And uh, the phone is now restarting and it will take uh, some time to get on network. So the phone is now uh, on network. I'm going to re-log in it. Okay, now I'm logging this uh, device <clears throat> and you can see here the phone firmware is upgraded to latest version which is 1.0.3.44. So you can uh, upgrade the firmware locally via HFS to upgrade the firmware and put it to push the config file or change the config file. Thank you.